Good morning. Look at this. Oh, frick. So I just looked it up and I think I'm supposed to do this with a tweezers, but I don't think I fucking have one. I'm just gonna try to pop them off. Oh, I think I did it. Are you serious? You bitch! Get the f out of here. Yeah, dude, I'm, I think I'm fine. It means there could be more than. Yeah, like this guy right here. Oh, f Get out of here, man. Nope. Oh, we got another nice critter this morning. But he's on the outside. This is why we have a tent. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Good morning. Welcome to day eight of biking across America. Today, I am in very, very, very northern Illinois, somewhere. And I'm officially starting to make a little bit of progress. Today is going to be a pretty big day. I'm trying to get a lot of mileage in, which is going to be the reality over the next 40 something days. Oh, the tent, dude, worked amazing. Absolutely incredible. It's so nice. Like, so much better than the hammock. Such the move. Like, <coughs> I slept watching this. The moon was here last night and it just rose over. Oh, so glorious. Bikes right there, feeling good in this nice little prairie thing. I'm rolling down the pants because apparently it's tick season and not interested in anymore. So I'm hoping this does some kind of preliminary preliminary protection till I get over to the trail. Alrighty. saying is we take this down real quick get out of here hopefully i got lucky this time but i'm not gonna put myself in harm's way for no reason hopefully no ticks assemble on my stuff everything's a little bit wet from dew it's tough oh big bug get out of here man we're gonna need to find a little bit of a different sleeping situation Nobody knew I was here before that. They definitely do now. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> Do it. Alrighty now, full steam ahead. We're just gonna trek right through it. You're gonna see how deep it actually is. Like proper deep. I think this could work, guys. A little GoPro shot. Okay. Oh, here we go. See, this is definitely where the tip could be hanging. Really deep. There's the bike. Oh my god. Yes, sir. Uh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yes. Woo! Okay, quick check, tick check. Big ride day, so I'm gonna throw on the uh, biking shorts. Oh la la! Oh. Oh. And we're off. The pack of turtles. There she is. The Illinois Prairie, baby.
Yo, oh, yeah. Have a good one. Thank you so much. Look at that Wisconsin friendly in. Ooh, baby. Look at this house right over here. Look at it buried in the woods. That's so cool. That's so cool, Bridge. Oh, look. I've been to that place before. See where that gazebo is? That's actually a really funny story. Back, I think it was my senior year of high school, my buddy who was a freshman in high school, David Billings. We went on a, a very ambitious bike ride to bike to Wisconsin and back in one day. I was like, you know, pretty prepared for it. David was not. David was a little, little old freshman. We get to about out here. David starts having a bad time. We make it, get all the way to the Illinois, Wisconsin border. Right here, welcome to Wisconsin. David goes and sits down at one of these curves and just has himself a bad time. I'm talking a little bit of tears, a little bit of why me, ends up calling dad like, dad, I biked to Wisconsin and I can't make it back. And he's like, yo, dude, I'm busy. I can't just like drive an hour and a half to come get you. And so we have to figure our way back. The town we were just in with my mom last night in McHenry has a train station. We bike back there so you can take the train back. Nope, doesn't run to McHenry on that day. Have to bike another 12 miles. At this point, I just have to like push him. I'm literally like pushing him like this. Like, come on, David, you got it send him off at the train station never saw him again no no i talked to his brother about that day and he said david changed on that day david may not have become a man that day but he definitely wasn't a boy after that kudos david getting ready for thanksgiving anyways i went like a half mile out of the way to tell that story and to touch wisconsin because woo new state alert so we're going a little bit back the reason I came up this way, this great trail that I've never ridden before. Here we are. Oh. So what's super monumental about getting on this trail is that I've mostly been going like Northwest just to kind of get around Chicago and make it to this trail exactly. But this trail, this thing goes basically due West. And for the next month and a half, ish i'm going to be going basically due west to california how crazy is that one direction for a month and a half Woo! Yeah! i'm really wondering if i can make it to iowa today so we'll see yeah. fellas we out there now like totally out there Wow. Welcome to the great downtown Hebron, Illinois. So I just had a little bit of a moment on the side of the road really questioning if I could actually do this. And I was really thinking like how many miles can I actually do in a day and how many do I actually need to do? So I finally did the real calculations. possible distance that I can take all the way out to California is 2,700 miles and that means maybe taking a slightly less desirable route just so it's not as far and so the last possible day that I can get out to California has got to be August 20th because I need to be in another country on the other side of the world on August 31st and it's a two-day travel period so I need to leave in the morning of the 29th like at the latest and so the 28th is the last possible day i need to be make it to the pacific ocean on the 28th but i did the math basically what i need to do is like a minimum of 60 miles per day with no rest days like every day needs to be 60 miles a day at least and so that's the goal and so about 50 miles from here and about 60 miles from when today started it's a town called Durnham, I believe. I think it's called Durnham or something like that. And that is the goal of today. And so, as long as I can make it to there, I'm on pace. So let's get to Durnham, baby. Okay, quick shout out. Um, 
It's actually Durand, Illinois, not Durnham. Shout out Durand. Everyone go there. I apologize. Uh oh. I think I gotta go right this way for me. Oh yeah. Hebron Lumber. Hebron Anime. Aces Gaming. Roasted Chicken. That is the most American looking thing I've ever seen in my life. And I do be loving it. <laughs> Cows! Alrighty guys, duty calls. I could sleep here and no one would notice, but I'm not gonna because I got a lot more to go. I'm gonna go back here and do my thing. Great success! Are those what I think they are? Really sketchy. I think these are some apples. Let's see. Edible. Yes, that's so awesome. And with that, I think it's brunch time, baby. Today, we have something. Mm. Very exciting. All the way from McHenry, Illinois. A loaf. Oh. oh. And to top it off. An avocado from Mexico. That's ironic. See how you compare. The avocados in Mexico have like a different taste. They're not as like creamy. They're like more like fruity. Mm. How are you guys doing? What are you up to? Anything fun? Me? Oh, I'm biking. And eating. Sleeping under the stars. Oh, man. I'm actually, like, excited to sleep again tonight. In my tent. Isn't that crazy? Like, it's so nice. It's so nice. I have a little house in the woods. Without all of the, the BS that comes with it. It's just a nice shelter away from... The bugs in the rain, under the stars, fresh breeze, so good. Anyways, I'm gonna munch. See you guys on the road again. Cha ciao. It's very windy out, and just been a lot of this corn, couple houses, undulating road, going straight. Fellas, I was feeling a little bit, a little bit drained, but then. The lovely lady at this house offered some water to me. Perfect temperature, so good. Thank you. Well, well, well. around <laughs> guys I'm tired oh yeah <sighs> go to bed I'm taking a quick break and then we're gonna make <coughs> Make it to town. Not quite Durand, but a different town. So here's the game plan. I have 10 miles uh, until a McDonald's in which I'm going to edit and upload the next vlog. Me, currently, am feeling quite clapped. I've been laying on the side of this road, eating snacks for about 20 minutes. But it's time to get a move on it. Daylight is fading. Am I tired? Yes. Will I prevail? Yes. Oh, one mile. 
Island. Nine until McDonald's feeling good. Mile two, feeling great. Gravel. Ooh, get out green and Kaylin. And mile three, feeling great. Mile five, we are zooming and feeling good. Fellas, we got a we got a big downhill coming up. Okay, I'm gonna put you away because like this could get quick. Passing over I-90 and it's a yellow and we're gonna do it and we're gonna run the red and that's mile eight and I'm feeling great. How is gas a dollar cheaper? Like a hundred miles from the city. How does that work? No flipping way am I excited to see you. Boy, I ought to. Oh, well, it's nice to see you, man. Uh, I think it's just about four o'clock. I'll probably be here for the next four hours editing. And then we'll try to make it to a place to stay. But I'll see you guys later. Fellas, I think we have trouble. I think, if you can see, I think there's a tick on my neck. Is there? I almost positive it's a tick. Thank you, have a good night. Alright. So I just got asked to leave McDonald's because I was there for, wow, full moon. So I was there for like five hours and I didn't buy anything. But, good news is I got the vlog done we are we are 86 percent uploaded on the vlog here's the catch though is as soon as that's done which i'm gonna try dilly dally enough throwing around for the six minutes to go by i still have like 18 miles to get to durand oh my god <coughs> So I'm really not too sure how many how many miles I'm gonna get in tonight, just because it's already like almost completely dark. But I'm gonna get a, 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 at least a decent chunk, maybe an hour in, and then just wherever it looks like a good spot. I'm really trying to avoid like getting in there because while I was at McDonald's, I found two more ticks on me, which is way less than ideal. And so, just gonna try to figure out something that's a little bit, a little bit of a cleaner spot. Full moon tonight. Almost. Shoo! So I'm a little bit worried because there were two ticks inside of the tent last night. At least two ticks. I did get rid of both of those ticks. Get the f out of here. But I don't know if there's more still that like we're hiding somewhere because they're really small. It's hard to even feel them. This spot honestly seems pretty, pretty good. I'm at like a park or forest preserve or something, but I'm really like out in the country, so I don't think anyone's gonna like really walk through until at least morning. What I'm on is some like actual grass, like mowed and stuff. Last night I was actually like in the prairie and that's why i think i got the ticks because i was literally wearing not that much clothes and walking through you know like five foot tall prairie visual see if i see any ticks i'm guessing i do know okay I honestly, I think we're gonna be good. Just to make sure the ticks have absolutely no chance. I'm gonna throw on the socks too. Oh yeah. I think all this leaves us is with a little daily thoughts. And so I think on cue, I often get upset by modern conveniences just having roads and houses and pools and sidewalks and grocery stores and all that. But after even just these couple days, I'm really starting to realize like why we did it. Like it's just not enjoyable. 
you know, you're not enjoyable. It's, but it, it's not, it's not a fun thing to just get a tick, you know? I know most likely nothing's even going to result from it. And I know even if something did, that it's just a doctor visit and then I'd most likely be fine. But I can't even imagine if it was 300 years ago and like you get a tick and you're like, oh, oh gosh, I could die from this. And so it just makes sense why generation after generation after generation, we've just softened our living circumstances. And I think what the danger of it is, is the disillusionment between the people who decided that we needed this and the people that are living right now. Because the people who decided we needed roads, who decided we needed clothes, who decided we needed hospitals, did so because they almost died. Because they were living an actual life in which there was actual risk. And the people that are living with that lifestyle now, myself included most of the time, have no idea the lengths that people actually went through at one point. And so I think this journey is such a great rediscovery of that and a reappreciation for not only just the outdoors and nature and being on your own and the great adventure, but a reappreciation for modernity.